Police called to three JCPS schools after reports of an aggressive, active aggressor. It all turned out to be a hoax, but parents and students were fearing the worst, and now the topic of school safety is top of mind. This is Wave News 11. I'm John Bull. Police reacted quickly to the reports and made sure that all three schools were clear from any threats. And although it was all fake, it got us to wondering how JCPS is doing in the promised installation of weapons detectors in schools. Wave News reporter David Ochoa looked into that. Yeah, last May, the JCPS school board voted to install weapons detectors in the schools that needed them the most. Now in November, only one school has them, but the district says more will be coming soon. Is as a parent, it's Brad a Watson has been a part of the school safety conversation since a gun fell out of a student's backpack during a scuffle at Eastern High School last year. This all happened right near his daughter. And that really, as a dad, got me motivated to try to push this across the finish line. The recent incidents involving Easter and their students have only made him more concerned. And the dangers have not really got any less. Earlier this year, there was a fight at Eastern and a girl had what looked like a Rambo knife. Watson attended school board meetings and rallied parents together to volunteer to help out at the school in any way they were needed. He was happy when the board voted to install weapons detectors in the schools, happy enough to fist pump during one of the meetings. But he wishes they could come a little quicker. The risks have not diminished any, and yet we're still here, and we really haven't got anything solved other than the fact that they voted on doing something. As a parent, I would love to see this moved across the finish line. JCPS has said since the beginning that the detectors would be installed sometime during the fall. At the end of September, the district said the detectors would be in schools in October. We're now in November, and so far only Ballard High School is using them. But the district told me there will be staggered rollouts throughout the next several weeks. JCPS just seems to be moving from one chaotic bungle to the next, and they need to get some wins on the board. Watson thinks once detectors are in schools, it'll be the start of one of those wins. The original plan had half the high schools getting the detectors this fall and then the other half in the spring. Then all middle schools would get them in the fall of 2024. David Ochoa, Wave News.